Hey everyone, I'm back with a February sales update video. It's taken way too long, I know, but it's just life. It's always keeping me busy, and these videos take the most preparation, getting all of the um, listings screenshotted, and then kind of remembering what the best offers were and making a list of that. So it just takes a little bit of time, but I do still want to get them out. One, I like to have it for my own benefit, so I can look back and see what sold. It's kind of cool to have. It's just a record. Um, of what did sell. Also, um, I do think there's still a lot of value here, probably more so in this video than the uh, haul videos because this is actually where the proof is. So, hope you guys are okay with waiting. If not, uh, not much is probably going to change with me. I'll always probably be a month or two behind. Um, you might hear my dog in the background walking around. She uh, makes noise on the hardwood floors and there is a dryer going, so I apologize. Also, the lighting is a little bit darker um, just because uh, it's getting later in the evening, so we'll have to deal with that. Um, as you can see on the first page here, though, I did have 4,000 in sales. You know, not bad. We're up about 1.4% from January. We'd like to be more, but I uh, can't really complain if we're moving up. Um, not a lot of big sales. I mean, over 100, that is. I had one, you can see here, 105, and then we're down to 95. So definitely had some in the 70 to 80 range, which is good, but I'd like to have a couple more. I'd like to have at least, you know, three or $400 sales a month. That really helps with the numbers. So we'll go ahead then and jump right in. Um, first sale is a uh, Sony PSP. I paid 10 bucks for a PSP with a bunch of games. Also came with an iPod in the box. Uh, the PSP did not work. I ended up um, buying a battery for it. I mean, it worked, but the actual bass dis the disc tray in the back was broken. Uh, video game stuff, even if it's broken, even electronics that are broken, take a chance on. This was the white one. Uh, it does a little bit better, so I got 30 bucks for that. Plus all the games I started selling separately, and I sold that iPod, so pretty cool. Uh, a bunch of bingo cards. These are the little sliders. They're little uh, cards that you can play, and you slide the little red slider over or whatever color that is to um, determine if uh, you have been called that number. Uh, this was there were 95 in here. I paid 10 bucks on offer up. I knew these things sold. I was hoping to get more like 120, but they sat and they sat and they sat. What hurt me was they already had um, writing on them. If you actually look at the um, it says Hemet Trailer Supply here, and had they been blank, I probably could have done a little bit better because then you know people may want to use them for their own church or whatever. But I paid 10, sold them for 80. It ended up costing like 35 to ship. Made probably 20 bucks, but probably wouldn't buy them if they had the, the name on them again. It probably just passed. A lot of work. Uh, Sony VHS sealed media still does well. Not everything does, so don't hold me to everything. But here were three VHSs. I paid a dollar for the pack, or two dollars, sold them for 23 shipped. Uh, Windows 7, look out for these uh, software. Some of them do well. Usually Windows 7 and up still does pretty well. I and mean, then some of the really old stuff can still do well. But I paid, I think, five bucks for this and another software set, and I got 30 for this one. Uh, this is an awesome thing. It's a Guitar Hero dongle. I just picked one up this weekend as well. Uh, these go to the PS3 um, Les Paul Guitar Hero. Um, uh, PS3 dongle. They're called, called a dongle or an adapter. You plug the USB in and then you can use your wireless guitar and it'll play. Um, this one is like the best one. It sells for like 40 bucks as this one did, but... There are some other ones that are for Rock Band or Guitar Hero that might sell for anywhere from 10 to 15, 20. Those are still worth picking up if you can look, find them cheap at a garage sale. So, uh, here's another thing. Crappy picture did not crop it properly, but it's a drum pedal I got with a bunch of that Rock Band stuff. Um, these don't do that great. You can get anywhere from 23 to 30 bucks depending on which one. They usually ship for like 12 maybe 13 14 so really you don't make a lot of money i just sold it because it was basically free i probably made five bucks when it's all said and done uh, i had a bunch of this hp 62 xl link i paid 150 bucks for i think seven or eight sets of the 62s and also another set of hp ink two more sets actually um, and i sold each of them for 45 bucks so we made pretty good money there Epcot hat paid a couple bucks for this at the thrift store. I uh, held on to it for a while, but it finally sold full price, 20 bucks. Had some stains on it, but I've been doing pretty well with old hats, so they're worth taking a shot at. Uh, Dyson, this goes to a Dyson um, vacuum. I had bought it for, I bought all the parts for it for two bucks, and the vacuum she said was broken, but I could have for free. I ended up selling all the parts that were actually for like pet cleaning. I sold all those. 
and separately for like 45 and then I parted the vacuum out. I actually got it working but it was so beat up I didn't, we didn't end up keeping it or anything so I sold the big canister for 40 bucks and I sold this part for 14 and I sold another part recently for 14 so that was kind of cool. Uh, DS Game Namco Museum. A lot of people overlook this one, but this cartridge, for whatever reason, goes for 12 bucks. So it's worth taking a shot on if you see it. Old listing. It's a Michigan State Spartans um, Rose Bowl shirt. I paid a dollar for this at the thrift store. Was hoping that um, it would sell uh, for a little bit more, maybe like 10 or 12. But I ended up going for eight bucks after we enlisted for a long time. So not the best offer. Um, and then we have uh, Levi 505s. I paid 15 bucks for these at the thrift store. They were on sale for 25% off. They were 20. Got them for 15. Sold them for 42. Um, I don't mind paying up if it's brand new with tag Levi's like this. Uh, I'll pay 15 bucks if I know I can get 42. I'm not gonna make a ton, but it's a really easy listing when it's got no. There's no flaws to highlight, nothing like that. So it's super easy, and I know it'll sell eventually. So 42 bucks, pretty good there. Uh, Breadman Bread Baker. I'm not sure what's the best way to take pictures of these. It seems like no matter which way I do it, I don't like it. But picked up a bread maker for five bucks, um, and then I sold this piece for twenty, um, and I think I sold the other piece, the actual paddle, for like fifteen or thirteen. So, again, this is one of those things. It's kind of my, um, I guess, bread and butter, which is odd because the bread maker part, but. Um, one of my go-to's that I like to have that I part out these um, food processors and bread makers and stuff. I don't always make a ton of money each one, but they're a little five, seven, eight, you know, ten dollar profits per um, part that sells, and it's an easy way to just bring in some extra money. Um, and also, you don't have to store the whole big food processor or the whole big bread maker. You could take the parts out, label it, and then you don't you can get rid of the big piece. So that's not too bad. Uh, Peter Millar, not the best picture, an older one. It's a polo I bought, size large, sold it for 16 It wasn't a, what is it called, Southern Comfort, or I forgot what it's called. Whatever the nice one is, it's only 16 bucks. I think I paid 4 for it, so I probably made, you know, 5 bucks maybe when it's all said and done, so not too bad. Uh, these ones actually get best off. I paid 10 bucks for all these Disney vinyls. Um, one of them had a broken ear. I don't know which one it was, but I'm sure somewhere in there it has a broken ear. Uh, or something's wrong with it. I, don't, I forgot. Oh, missing an arm. That's what it was. I, mean, I can see which one it is. One of them's missing an arm. Uh, but I paid 10 bucks for this with a bunch of other stuff. I made a big deal, so I, I think it was about 10 I sold these on the best offer for 30 bucks. Um, thought I would get a little bit more for them, but turns out they were not. I shipped them on a powder flat rate. I probably made like eight bucks when it was all said and done, so not a great buy. Um, I should have got them for a little bit cheaper. Um, Big Pony, uh, Ralph, this is a U.S. Open one. I love the Big Pony ones, especially size extra large and up. Um, this one I paid five bucks for at the thrift store, cleaned it up, looked great, sold it for a best offer of 25 bucks which is about what I get for the big ponies if I don't want to wait and get the full 30. So I'll take a 25 on them. Um, picture's not too bad. Just a little bit of a bump there, but uh, it seems to be working with my new system. So uh, Scully, this was cool. Was out with my in-laws and my wife at a thrift store. And didn't find a bunch of books, but found this vest here for like 3 or 4 bucks at Savers, plus whatever my discount was. It sold on a best offer at 30 bucks. It's a good Western uh, brand Scully. They make... A vest, but also make uh, pearl snap shirts and you know uh, fringe type uh, leather jackets and stuff. So that was cool for thirty bucks. Only paid like I said four bucks plus whatever my discount was. Harry Potter set one through seven fifty five bucks. These ones were very poor condition. Um, most of them had damage. Book three even had some water damage, so I sold it fifty five. Normally a good shape one, you can probably get more like seventy or maybe sixty five at least. So um, these are still worth selling, and if you do find book one and you don't have the rest of them, book one, even book two, sometimes will sell by themselves if they're a first American edition. So I think I get 25 for the first one and maybe 15 for the second one. So I like to have the set because it sells pretty quick, but if you have just book one and two, you can try to sell them. Um, another set of Sesame Street, bad crop here. I mean, another set of figures here. These are Sesame Street ones. I had most of these already in my... Um, 
in my garage just sitting in a pile. I've sold quite a few lots of these, but this one sold for full price $25. This is a cool little step thing I picked up at Savers one day. I haven't been using it, but I kind of like it to display different things because it elevates them so it's a little bit easier to see everybody. So that was cool as well. Uh, here's one of those other rock band dongles I was talking about. This one came from the same lot with the other one. Got 20 bucks for that one, so that was cool. Yukon Huskies, I got 22 bucks for this. It was a 4 or $5 jersey at Savers. Um, not their best picture. This is not the oldest picture, but kind of right after I switched to the white background. So not great. Kind of blurry. You know, still got 22 bucks though. Uh, starter jerseys can do well if they're from the 90s, early 2000s. Um, this is a Polo Ralph Lauren Corduroy uh, jacket, size small. Um, that was the biggest downside of this. If it would have been like an extra large, I probably could have got the full 70. Ended up getting, let me see here, 50 bucks. Had an offer of 55 like the first day, didn't take it, and then it just sat and sat and sat and sat, and I finally had to take 50. So I'm um, happy with it. I only paid 10. I think it cost 10 to ship it, so that's pretty good profit there. Obviously, Ralph Lauren's a good brand, and a nice corduroy jacket's pretty cool. Uh, moving on to some books. One of my favorite things. These are just ask books. I paid, I think, I paid ten dollars for this whole set at a garage sale, and I sold them for full price, eighty dollars. These are good brand, good uh, books to look out for. Just ask. They have a bunch of things about snow, desert, volcanoes, weather, you know, mammals, all kinds of different things to teach. They're, I put homeschool in the title as well. Seems to be a pretty good set that I made money. In. So ten bucks into eighty. Nothing wrong with that. This was kind of a bust in a way. It's a hypertech programmer for a truck. If I would have been able to verify that it wasn't used before and locked to one Ford truck, I probably could have got 75, 80 bucks. The problem is, is I couldn't verify that. So I had it listed at like 50, hoping to take a best offer. I finally had it at 40 and someone offered me 35 and said, hey, I'm taking a chance if it doesn't work. I accepted, I had paid 10. Um, never heard anything back from him. So I'm gonna assume it was unlocked. The guy got a good deal. I still made money. But uh, not some I'd recommend buying because you can't verify uh, without plugging it in to see if it's locked to anything. Uh, DeWalt charger, 35 bucks. These always sell for me. This is the one that you can plug into your car. It's got the little um, outlet there, so that's cool. Pair of Rockin' uh, Republic jeans. Paid a dollar for these at a garage sale. I wouldn't have bought them otherwise. Rockin' Republic's not the greatest brand, but when it's only a dollar at a uh, garage sale is a men's brand like this. I will take a chance on it. Sold it for full price, 17 bucks. Here's a lot of books. Um, got these at the thrift store, Savers. I think they were like a dollar a piece, and I sold them all for 42. Let's talk about by Joy Berry. Joy Berry has a lot of good books. If you see anything by her that are, that sell well, you really don't want to pay a dollar a piece for these. But Savers is always a rip off on the books, so um, I did because I knew I could make money. But you really want to try to get them cheaper if you're at a garage sale or something. This is something I bought from my dealer friend that he always finds stuff in has garage sales or sends me messages. It was this cell phone satellite adapter. Don't know much about it. He sold it to me for 10 bucks. Uh, I had no idea really what it was. I kind of bought it because I was buying a bunch of stuff from him and I wanted him to give me a good deal on some other stuff. So I said I'd take this for 10. It did sell for 50 bucks. Uh, not wasn't sure how it worked. Just powered it up and it was missing a headset which was supposed to be there. I think they go for like 80 with the headset. So um, I was happy to get 50 bucks for it. Game Boy Advance SP 45. This is the kind of Onyx black one. This one always sells really well. It's a good color one to get. Uh, I think I paid 20, sold it for 45. Don't make a ton on those, but I will pick them up for 20 if they do work. So another one of those rock band things, same group, 20 bucks for that. Haynes Repair Manual. Again, not the best picture, but uh, this was in a lot of manuals I bought. Um, I know this was actually found out by my dumpster. There was someone who moved, and they had a pile of stuff there they were getting rid of. It had like an Adidas hoodie that I took that was in really good shape, and a bunch of a few repair manuals. And this one sold for ten, so that was free. Uh, Champion spark plugs um, hat. You can see this thing is damaged right by the bill here. There's actually a lot of staining to it. It's in very poor shape. Um, I got this in a box lot of hats for five bucks. I sold this for eleven dollars. Um, I will sell hats for eight to fifteen usually if they're kind of beat up unless there's something rare. I don't mind because I can make some money. I try to keep the minimum at ten, but I will go down to eight if I got to move it. And I try to make just a couple bucks on them. They're one of those things where you, I don't usually profit a ton, 
I can always make a few bucks and a few bucks over time adds up. So iPhone box. This is uh, one of my dealer friends. Again, he always buys. He gets these iPhone and Samsung boxes, and he always throws them in with what I'm buying. This was an iPhone 8, so it did a little better. It got 16 bucks for the box. It's empty. There's nothing inside, so that was cool. Polo uh, cable knit. I always do well on these polo cable knit sweaters. This was a blue one. It was a size medium, so not the greatest size. Did not sell for 33 bucks. It did sell for 26.50. I had paid two bucks on the two dollar clothing day at Salvation Army. So um, those are good uh, cable knit polos to look out for. I sold a size 2XL one, I think, for 45 the other day, or a month back or so. Uh, PS2 game, second sight, $9. Don't know what I paid a dollar probably for it. Uh, this is usually where I want to be price-wise. It's about 8 to $9 at the minimum for games. I can still make a few bucks off them, uh, but hopefully over 10 But that one was worth it. Some men's, uh, sorry, that's my phone, silver jeans. Um, these ones were, had a stain. Uh, you might be able to see it right here and another one down here, I think. There were two stains. Um, I ended up uh, paying $2 for these at a garage, so I knew they had stains and I tried to get them out because I probably could have got 35 40 for this if it didn't have stains. The men's silver jeans do really well for me. Uh, but I ended up taking the best offer at 21 I had paid two, shipped it for seven. Still a good deal for me because it had stains. I don't know why the guy wanted it with stains, but he still did. This is a really cool Montague, I guess. Uh, Paris. It's kind of like a bowling style Charlie Sheen almost shirt. It's got a really uh, high end fabric feel. I never felt anything like that on a shirt like that. But I picked it up for five bucks at Savers, and I ended up selling in the best offer for forty five. I had a guy for about. A month and a half messaged me almost every week a couple times a week asking if I take 40. Take 40, we take 40, we take 40, take 41, take 42. And finally, um, I said, I'll take 50. And he said, how about 45? And I waited about a week. Still didn't get any bites on it. No one else offered. So I said, I'll take 50, 45 if you'll do it. And he offered it, and it was worth it. I paid five bucks. Someone got 60 for a red one. Mine was like a brown color. Maybe that hurt me a little bit. The red one looked a little cooler, but 45 bucks for a $5 used shirt's pretty good in my opinion. Um, here we are. We have a Game Boy Color purple. I always get about 30 bucks for my Game Boy Colors. Uh, this one I paid 10 bucks for with, or 12 bucks with some games and stuff. Sold it for 30. Untuck It, good brand. Sold this for $35 on the best offer. I uh, paid up, paid 10 for it it was a size large i like to again be a little bit higher than that size wise but uh 10 of the 35 on a first class shirt is pretty good for me cuisinart food processor bowl 28 bucks again this is the, the stuff i part out um it ships usually for about 10 bucks for one of these so not too bad there and then a nine dollar apple iphone box this is a se one so that was again pretty good some scrubs i bought what 12 of them and a dollar a piece and then I sold three sets I think this is the last set sold for 25 bucks so four of them I can wrap these in a pad or put these in a pad of flat rate and get 25 bucks for four of them so that's a pretty good deal uh, Tommy Bahama Pelican Sakara saw this set Goodwill paid four bucks I saw the back first and I was like sweet I can get 30 bucks hopefully maybe 25 at worst case maybe even more then there were, I found that there were staining on the front. Um, I saw the bag first as I was flipping through, and then I saw the staining. Still bought it for five bucks because I said maybe it'll, excuse me, maybe it'll be worth it. But I ended up selling for twenty bucks. I mean, it's still I guess I guess it's still worth it because if you ship it for three fifty or whatever, fees are probably another three dollars. So you're probably going to make seven or eight bucks. So that's not bad. But um, if you find the Tommy Bahamas that are embroidered, some of them go for still fifty, sixty bucks. Uh, Rock Revivals paid ten bucks a piece for three sets of Rock Rock Revivals, um, so thirty bucks in total. This was the best pair, sold for sixty. Uh, men's ones do the best size, like thirty one and up, or what you want. A uh, really cool jacket here, a vest. Got this from a guy at a bunch of Harley and Mac tools and different kind of shirts and clothing. I paid three or four bucks for this piece, and I sold it on the best offer for 38. It did ship had a flat rate, and I got good feedback. It was just the guy's riding jacket. had a bunch of stains on it, a bunch of random patches, but the person wanted it. 
Um, look out for some of those old vests. They do, do pretty well if they got a bunch of patches and have some character. Old listing, but paid a dollar for this Tweety Birds 3XL scrub. Finally sold it for 15, so that was cool. Uh, another pack of that ink for 45. Gotta love HP ink. Polaroid for 24. The Polaroid import pulse is probably the next best, best one aside from the Polaroid, like one steps and all those. Impulse seems to sell better than the Spectra does. So I got 24 bucks for that. Uh, another paddle here for a bread maker. Got 13. That was a plastic one, so it's kind of interesting. BKE jeans right here. These ones sold full price, 20 bucks. Um, these were women's ones I paid two dollars at a garage sale. I don't really buy women's jeans that much anymore, unless they're rock revivals or brand new or something real unique. Maybe torrid ones I'll buy. The torrid women's jeans seem to sell pretty well. Uh, but these BKE ones I wouldn't buy. BKE men's jeans I would buy because I can probably get 25 or 30 bucks. But got 20, shipped them for 7. That's still good money, but again, I probably won't pick them up that much. Uh, this was cool, 5 bucks at the thrift store. Oh, sorry, that was offer up. Uh, $5 at the thrift store for these um, at Goodwill. And this is a SanDisk memory card reader. Sold it for 27 bucks. It did go in a padded flat rate, I believe. So that was an awesome deal there. Corolla manual, again, my dealer friend threw this into a lot. He asked if I wanted it. I said, sure, 2017 Corolla manual with all the instructions. He gets all this stuff. I think he does house cleanouts, so he just get or in storage cleanouts, and he gets all the leftover stuff. Uh, this was in there, got 15 bucks, so pretty cool. A bunch of Wilton Bridesmaids uh, cake toppers. Got these for two bucks at a um, garage sale. Took a while, but they're, they're older ones too, but I finally sold them for um, 25 bucks for all of them, so that was cool. Foot Joy, this one had a uh, stain on it, but it still sold for 15 I just really liked the color, and it was a 2XL. Had it not had a stain, probably could have got 20 plus on it, just because of the color. This color seems to sell well for Foot Joy. Mountain Hardware paid 5 bucks for this brand, and first time I ever had it, uh, knew that it does sell well. Listed mine at full price, 40 bucks, hoping for a best offer of 30 to 35. Got a sale pretty quickly on this one for full price. So awesome, awesome sale. Base is loaded for 18 bucks. Uh, this was in my, I paid 10 bucks a long time ago for a bunch of Nintendo stuff and I hadn't sold this yet. So finally listed it and sold it for 18. Tommy Bahama, um, which is really just dropped in price. This one was down to 18 bucks. It did sell. Uh, I paid four bucks for it, I think. Got 18. That's about as low as I want to go, really, with clothing. But I'm not buying every Tommy Bahama anymore. I'm trying to buy the ones that have cool patterns and hopefully bigger sizes. Um, here's some chem cards. Uh, these ones sold for 40 bucks on a best offer. I paid a dollar a pack, so eight bucks. Shipped them international in a medium flat rate or regional rate. I think they went to. Um, Global shipping, I mean, so I don't know what the person paid on top of that. But chem cards do do well. This was all the same basic one. Uh, they have other decks that do well. I bought them before, but you really got to be picky and choose, and you don't really want to spend more than a dollar a deck. Uh, this is an awesome pencil sharpener. Paid a dollar for this at a garage sale, sold for 30 The Panasonic Auto Stop, it's got the wood grain. Um, look there, full price 30 I bubble wrap this and put it in a padded flat rate and it made it perfectly fine. I actually have another one listed. It hasn't sold as quickly, but I think I paid a couple bucks for that. So these are still pretty good. Thomas the Train, this is my son's old toy. Um, I think we paid like five bucks at the thrift store with it and it had this little thing it was towing. I thought it was part of the Thomas the set, but after I did some research, it's not. It's just from a different toy that someone had clipped on there. So I took that off. Um, it's a little pull toy. We had paid five. He had used it, doesn't want it anymore. We we're going to donate it. But I listed it and got full price $37. Had a lot of scuffs, needed some paint work, but it was a pretty cool, uh, unique Thomas pull, wooden pull toy. So uh, this was awesome. Look up Imagine Neck uh, Bigfoot or Fisher Price Bigfoot. Look that up. You'll see the, I think I had it in one of my uh, haul videos, but look that up. That guy, if you can get this power cord to him, 45 bucks just for a power cord. That is ridiculous. The whole thing probably sells for 75 or 80 if it all works. I got 45 for this, and then I sold later on. I sold the rest of uh, the battery, the battery cover, and something else, the, the controller 
for 25 bucks. So I almost made the same because my guy didn't work right. He wouldn't make noise. And I just tossed, uh, donated the rest of him. So uh, look out for that Fisher Price Bigfoot. It's worth taking a look and burning it in your memory bank because it, it's a pretty good bow, though. Um, Sega Game Gear sold for 17 It did go first class, I believe. It uh, wasn't a great sale. Just something I had lied around because it was broken. I couldn't get it fixed. It went to one of those Game Gear repair people. Uh, Pink Floyd um, shirt paid a Two bucks for this, three bucks, sold it for fourteen. I was hoping to get a little bit more, but it wasn't as great of a shirt. But fourteen bucks for a two dollar, three dollar t shirt, I'm okay with that. Rock Revivals, order listing, I actually paid fifteen bucks for these. As you can see, that was not a good deal. Finally sold them at twenty five. Basically, what that means is I got my fifteen bucks back, and after it's all said and done, I probably broke even, or maybe I'm out of at, in the hole a dollar. But a lesson to you if you're selling. Um, if you paid up for something or even bought something and you can at least get your money back or get most of it back and be less in the hole, just go ahead and list it and try to sell it. At least you're getting some of your money back. Hopefully it'll lead to a good feedback and a sale. And um, it's better to be in the hole $1 or $2 than $15. So don't be uh, afraid to list up even if it was a bad purchase because we all make them. We make mistakes. We don't always get the best deal on something. And sometimes it's best just to you know get your money back and move forward. Awesome piece here. Paid 10 or 20 bucks for a whole lot of stuff. This was in there, an elect rider. It didn't have everything that it needed with it, um, but I sold it for a best offer of $95. Went global shipping, I think, to Germany or something like that. Really cool. Look out for old vintage stuff like this, especially motorcycle stuff. Uh, $5. I'd probably say $10 on it into $95. It's a pretty good dang deal. I'll take that any day. Planet Earth paid 2 bucks for this at a garage sale. It was sealed. Um, the funny thing about this was you looked at some of the other listings for the same exact one. It listed at like $18 or best offer plus shipping. There was one for like $19.99, free shipping, all sealed. I saw a couple people were getting $27 to $30. Bucks, so I listed mine high and just sat on it and ended up selling within like a week and a half. Uh, sometimes on stuff, if you can get a little bit higher, it might be worth it. Someone will come through and who knows what's sold in the meantime. But uh, that ended up working out pretty well for me. Sims 2 lot paid, I think, 10 bucks for the whole stack. Sold them for 38 Wouldn't really buy them all again um, unless I can get them real cheap, like as cheap as I did. I wouldn't pay up any more than that for these, and it did take a while to sell them. Paid $0.50 cents for this Lincoln uh, center cap. I got two of them, so I paid a dollar for both. This one sold for 26 I still have the other one. These go in the middle of your rim. Um, when you're there and it kind of puts the big Lincoln logo on it. Look out for these. They have GMC ones and Chevy ones and all that. If you see them, they're worth looking up. There's usually a part number on the back uh, to tell you what it is. Griswold, uh, cast iron, paid five, sold it for 27 I think it shipped for 12 Probably didn't make a whole lot. Um, won't really buy these ones. I'm tired of cast iron. Some of them do really well. Some of them can go for 500 if you have a rare one that's in good shape, but most of the ones I buy are not, and the shipping on them just can be a pain. So this was a smaller one. I did okay. Didn't do too bad, but I probably wouldn't uh, buy these again, at least not for that price. Uh, this came for like two bucks uh, at a garage sale. I ended up selling it for twenty-two or twenty-three forty-five. It was a weird, weird offer, but I couldn't uh, test that it worked, and it had. A piece missing so he kind of highlighted that and told me he could only pay 23 I shipped it for 10 so I probably made like six or seven bucks uh, happy to get rid of it it wasn't something um, I was really happy about after I bought it anyway so happy to make the money that I did Hamilton Beach chopping blade the food processor parts that seem to do the best are the blades they sell the quickest usually and usually anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks this one I got 18 on some more chem cards. These ones sold on the best offer for twenty-five. I think I paid a dollar fifty for each of these though, so six bucks and sold for twenty-five. So that was pretty cool. Uh, iPod Touch. Don't know what I paid. Five bucks maybe, um, something like that. Ten bucks. Sold it for thirty-eight dollars. Uh, these iPods are still pretty good if you can get one that's you know 30, 32 gig, you know fifty gig of the old thirty gigs. Those ones do well. If you get an eight gig, you're only looking at about thirty bucks or less. So uh, still worth picking up though. Ridge Racer sixty-four, an old game I had, got eight bucks for that. 
Sony Dream Machine paid eight dollars, sold it for thirty-five. I think it cost twelve or fourteen to ship it. So you can do the math. There's some money there, but uh, not a ton. They do better on Amazon. They do on eBay. Men's Lucky Jeans. I've still been selling Men's Luckies pretty, pretty frequently. Uh, sold this one for twenty-five. I had paid five bucks for them. Super happy with a twenty-five dollar sale on a five dollar pair of jeans. That to me is right where I want to be price-wise. Nerf uh, ammo belt. This is look out for these. It goes to the big Vulcan Nerf gun. I sell these. This one actually had a couple of, had a broken tip. I don't remember which one it was, but it was broken. Uh, if they're not broken, you get about 14, 15 bucks, but 12 bucks for a broken one. Still awesome. Ships first class every time. Here we are with a Slipknot. Sold this for 25. Paid a couple bucks at the thrift store. And band shirts have been doing well for me. This was a size small. I was surprised to get 25 but happy uh, nonetheless. Uh, game here sold for six. Not a good deal. I think I paid way too much for this. And another one sold for six. I think I paid way too much. I may have lost a couple bucks on these ones too. Uh, well, didn't, didn't recognize the games. I know a little bit about the original Nintendo, enough to usually do well. I hadn't heard of these games. I didn't. My phone wasn't really working to look up stuff, and the guy was right over my shoulder. So didn't spend too much time, and I think I lost on that one. So that's okay. More ink though, 45. Didn't lose on that one. Uh, Mortal Kombat for PS2. Paid a couple bucks for this at a garage, I think, two, and sold it for 13. I don't mind paying two for a game that I can get 13 bucks for. Adriana Goldschmied, the Hero Men's Jeans. These ones were another $5 pair of jeans. Got 27 bucks for them on sale. They ship in a padded flat rate for $7. Men's jeans are so much better for me than women's jeans. No offense to the women clothing sellers out there, but men's jeans, they just seem to not complain as much, and they seem to sell for higher prices. Batman Cake Pan paid three bucks. Wilton sold it for 20. It did ship first class. That was pretty cool. Another one of those ammo belts sold for $13.49. Fight Night for PSP. This came with that white PSP I bought, so it sold that for $9.89. Uh, Mario Duck Hunt for Mario 3 and then Mario Duck Hunt for the original Nintendo. Sold those for $17.09. Don't remember what I paid for them. A couple bucks, I think. Uh, Star Wars um, Skywalker Lightsaber. This is one of the earlier ones. Sold this for $16.19. Psychonauts for the Xbox. Paid 5 bucks for this. Um, off offer up when I bought something else. Paid 5 bucks, Had to, but still got $21.59 for it. So that was an awesome sale. Uh, Tora, this is why I buy Tora jeans. They sell for me so quick. This one sold for a best offer of 20 not $22.49. I had paid 4 bucks for them, and then I shipped them in a padded flat rate for 7 I probably made 7 or 8 bucks when it's all said and done, but these usually sell within a week for me every time. More inks, $45. Uh, this came in a lot of video games I bought from a, the dealer friend. He sold me, a, I think, like 5 bucks worth of games. I didn't even know this was in there. Uh, I just bought the other stuff. There was a Pokemon game and some other stuff. I knew it was a good deal. Found this disc just sitting in a case, uh, not the original case, but just in a plain uh, CD case. Sold just the disc for $21.59. Street Fighter Alpha 3 for Sega Dreamcast. Rawlings Glove paid 5 bucks. Sold it for $22.49. So not bad there. More of the ink for $45. Wildlife fact files, these do sell. I paid $3 each, 12 bucks, got 40 49 What hurt me was I didn't do a good enough job showing what was in there or counting the cards. I should have done a better job of that to give people a better idea when I had a lot of questions. And honestly, I just kind of didn't really respond with enough information, I think. So it took a while. Had I, A, had another book included. I, I like to do five books for this set if I can, which right after I, I bought one book and then I sold this the same day at the four of them. So I have one book in the garage now, but I prefer to have five and it would have been nice to do a better description of what was in there. So still made money. They shipped me an email still for me, but it uh, would have been nice to make a little bit more. Parker Pen Set paid $3. It was at a thrift store. It was in the uh, little you know display case in the cabin. They had to unlock it for me. I thought it was going to have a $10 price tag on there. It was $2.99. Uh, Parker International Pens. A guy said he didn't have a lot of money, went back and forth with me, finally said, hey, I'll pay you 50 bucks if you'll take it uh, for free shipping. I said it already has free shipping, so sure. Uh, 50 bucks for a $3 pen purchase. That's pretty cool. Parker is a really good pen brand. If you find Parker 51s, those can do really well. I sold one pen outside of a box for like 55 bucks before. Uh, look out for the Parker pens, especially estate sales. Those seem to be the best place. 
Tyco Trains paid $5 for a whole box of Tyco Trains in different parts. Three of these were sealed. One was kind of sealed but breaking at the bottom. I put these up, sold them for full price $45. And I think somewhere in the video we'll show some more. Uh, these are the HP inks that I also got in that lot for $150. Sold those for $70. PS2 game, Grand Theft Auto, got $719. Not a big deal, but happy to get that off my shelf. Blue Jays hat sold this on a best offer of ten dollars. Uh, I was at thirteen forty nine on sale. Took a best offer of ten. Like I said, that's kind of where I want to be low wise on my hats, because so I can still make three or four bucks. Paid a dollar for the hat. Here's the Dyson vacuum. I didn't. I thought I sold it earlier, but sold it for forty five bucks. Uh, this came off that vacuum. I cleaned it up, made it look nice, and got forty five bucks. I think it shipped for about twenty. So I still made probably sixteen bucks or seventeen bucks on it. And again, the vacuum part was free, so that was cool. Uh, cut from the cloth, another decent brand if you get a big size, like, well, I shouldn't say big. If you get a size like 14, 16, something like that, um, those seem to sell better for me than the um, lower sizes for cut from cloth. Not the greatest brand, but if you get a nice size and it's a good looking pair of jeans, I got $24.29, I had paid 4 bucks. Uh, Duluth Trading. Uh, this was I paid five or no, I paid six or seven bucks for this. Took a best offer of twenty seven. It did ship in a padded flat rate, so I think I made maybe ten bucks, nine bucks on it. Pretty good. Duluth still does well. I really only want to pay about five, but Savers is a rip off sometimes, and sometimes you're not finding much. You still buy stuff, but um, if you can get them for five or six, you can usually still get twenty five to thirty, and they should go in a padded flat rate. And you want the heavier flannel ones. Uh, the thinner shirts don't do well. You want the heavier stuff. Evil Dead paid five bucks for this. For some reason, I thought it was worth like twenty-five. I was mistaken. It's only worth fourteen thirty-nine according to what I got. So still made money, but uh, it's good to see if you get it for maybe three bucks or less. But I wouldn't pay five for it unless you're going to sell it on Amazon. Uh, Mac Tool shirt. This one sold for twenty-two forty-nine. I've uh, sold so many. I got like three or four left. Paid it. Dollar, 50 cents for each shirt, so that was awesome. Another HP, because you can see they made a lot of money off this deal. It's a really good deal. Uh, OEM uh, Nintendo adapter. This one I did sell, but it was a return. It did work when I listed it and put it away. The guy got it, gave me immediate negative feedback, told me it didn't work, he didn't ever message me. I messaged him and said, I'm sorry it didn't work. I wish you would have let me know ahead of time. All my items are tested, but maybe in storage or shipping something happened. Um, I'd like to at least, you know, talk to you about resolving the issue. He responded, he or she, that thank you so much for the communication. You really um, sh showed, sh I guess he either really showed him that he overreacted and he should have contacted me first. He was just real frustrated. He was excited to play his Nintendo and that he had as a kid and he wasn't able to use it right away. I told him I'd refund him the money. No problem, but I did ask if possible if there's a way to change the feedback, even to neutral. Um, so I am going to honor the return. He's not out of pocket or anything. He, I refunded the money, and I waited for a response, and then he asked me to send him a paper, uh, feedback correction notice because he'd like to give me positive feedback, and he did. So that was a really good uh, kind of a you know good story for eBay buyers because the person did overreact. I did message them really politely and apologize, and I was able to turn it around, and now we have one negative feedback for some jerk that is actually pretty close to me and you know, not happy about that one, but... Uh, honestly, it hasn't affected sales at all. So if you do get one, doesn't it's not the end of the world. Hopefully, you're not like five feedback in. But if you've got enough, people will still buy if you have one negative feedback. Pokemon Diamond, two dollars was the real one. You can check usually by the back of the cartridge. See, um, there's some videos to show you how. But this one was legit. Sold that for sixteen nineteen. Awesome sale right here. Floppy disk. Paid five bucks for this at Salvation Army by my work. I was super excited when I saw it. It was all sealed. Um, sold it for $73. It's sad that, you know, floppy disks are so obsolete right now, yet they sell for more than the better product, like, you know, writable disks that you can buy, um, sell for. So look out for floppy disks. You want sealed ones, hopefully bigger packs than 10, you want like 25 to 50, 100 packs, but they do sell well. And if you can get a 100 pack, look, 73 bucks. Awesome. Uh, Cuisinart Blade, this is from the part now, got $9. I hate picturing these things because they always get the glare. You can see my um, picture here that I took. 
can see the back of my tablet, I think, or my phone, and you can see my ugly mug right there, so that's kind of not good. Um, still sold. Hoity Toity game, though. Pretty interesting game. Never saw it. Picked it up for two bucks with another game. This one sold for 30 bucks. Shit for like 10, so that was some pretty good money there for a board game. It was complete. Uh, vint vintage Turtles came with the Batman one. Paid three bucks. Sold that for 20. These ship first class. People ask me how I ship these. Wrap them in a wrap, put them in a large poly mailer, and you are good to go. Oh, by the way, uh, this little paper you see, this is my little cheat sheet with all my offers. So if you saw it popping up, that's what that is. I like to talk with my hands, too. Um, 20 bucks for that was a really good deal for a Wilton. There are some cake pans that do even better, but um, some of them you really don't do as well. You want to get, get them for pretty cheap. Awesome Pendleton here. Paid 5 bucks for this at the uh, Savers. Sold this one on a best offer for 27 bucks. Sold within like a day. Uh, was happy to move it. Happy to move shirts for 25 plus when you're only paying five bucks. Uh, that one went first class. This came out of an electronics recycling uh, kind of palette that I had was digging through to find stuff. You just pay by whatever the item is. Pulled this out of there. It goes to a hospital bed. Paid a dollar for it, I think, and sold it for 33. It was un untested, oh, no, I listed it as tested, and that was not, I was supposed to be untested, I remember afterwards I was like, oh shoot, um, but it did sell for 33, and the person didn't give me good feedback, but they never complained, so that was cool, uh, Time Life books, 60 bucks for these, I'm trying to move this along guys, we are almost done, 60 bucks, uh, I paid 25, as you can see, not great math, I think I, it took like 15 or 20 to ship them, shipped them all the way to Florida, media mail, uh, the person requested a return, because they didn't arrive uh, immediately after they landed in the city nearest them, I guess. And they said they must be lost. It was a newer eBay. Um, I said, hey, let me give me a couple of days to find out what's going on is media mail. I went on USPS website and put a tracker on it. They make you give a description of the box and what the books look like. And I put it, and in about a day or two, all of a sudden the books had moved, and then two days later they arrived. So it did still take a little while, but it did get the movement going, and the person did give me good feedback. Said it did take longer than it should have, but they didn't blame me, they blamed the post office. So try that little UPS, USPS tracker. Um, it does work pretty well, it seems. At least one for one for me. Uh, this was a uh, Radio Shack telephone handset uh, kind of control. Uh, plugs into the headset and I think into a phone. I paid... I think this was actually free. It was just in a box of junk I had, and I sold it for 15 bucks. Uh, the Office board game paid 10 bucks for this. Sold it for 40. It was sealed. It was a good deal, and I, we just actually got it returned to us. Though it was never claimed by the other person. I guess they were supposed to pick it up. They never did. And it was sent back to me, and I haven't heard back. So I got to find out what I want to do with that. But it still did sell, and the money is still in my PayPal. Five, five bucks for these Chuck Taylors. These are. Uh, Batman ones. They had a bunch of yellowing on this top. I could not get it out at all, but I did end up selling them uh, on a best off for 25 bucks, and they did ship in a padded flat rate. So pretty good there. Backtrack paid five bucks. I guess this is a band shirt. Don't know much about it. Uh, paid five bucks. Sold it for 25. Game Boy Advance SP for 44. Paid 20 for that one. So that was cool. More of the last bit of that ink. Uh, 70 bucks. So that was awesome there. Uh, Bitifer heating blanket controller, uh, paid a dollar for this one, sold it for 23 Mets pullover, really old listing, happy to get rid of it, paid five bucks, sold it for 20 It did ship first class though, those, one of those windbreaker materials, so they're super light. Uh, polo jeans, uh, these ones ended up selling my best off for 30 If it's not the Polo Jean Company, if it's actually Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, not the Polo Jeans, these ones actually sell pretty well for me in the men's sizes. Uh, this one I paid five or six bucks and I got 30 for it, which is pretty good for a used pair of polo jeans. So that was awesome. An old DVD I had picked up for, and a lot of stuff. I think it was 50 cents. Sold it for eight bucks. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, this came off the HP uh, calculator and printer. The HP uh, printer part would have sold for a lot of money if I could verify it worked, but the battery compartment was messed up, and when I was cleaning off the context, one of them broke, so it was even worse shape. I sold it for a best offer of 15. It did ship first class. Happy to get rid of it. Two PSP games came out with that white PSP from the beginning. Sold those for 20. Uh, here was the biggest sale, a bunch of tennis rackets. Um, if you find these, you got to get them for cheap. You want to pay a dollar or two, nothing more. Um, these are good decoration things. People will buy them to decorate stuff. 
uh, for like home decor and stuff. I sold 10 of them for 105. I think it shipped for about 30, and I had paid probably about 25 or so. So I probably still made 30 something bucks, 40 bucks off it. I will keep doing this as long as I can get them for no more than two dollars. Uh, DS game. This came with a lot of stuff I bought. Um, I didn't even realize it was in there. That sold for 11. Uh, 3DS paid 10. Oh no, it came with this 3DS. I didn't know it was with the 3DS. I paid 10 dollars for this. Lady didn't have a charger. She didn't know if it worked. I had a charger. It did work. Came with uh, SpongeBob, which sold for 11, and then I sold this for 75. So that was awesome. 3DSs do well if you can get them for cheap. Uh, Brioni tie. This one kind of changes color. It's got like as you move around. Uh, paid three bucks. Sold it for a best off for a twenty. More of the Atlas track. This, this came with the Tyco one that I paid five for. I sold the first batch for forty five. Sold these ones for twenty eight. They were brand new. Another Grand Theft Auto. This one sold for seven ninety nine. Action replay. Look out for this if you ever see. A DS or a Game Boy, or look out for Action Replay. These ones for the DS and the DSi. The DS one goes for 30. I think DSi goes for 40. I got full price on that. There are some other ones for other systems too, so worth taking a look at. Uh, Bose uh, power cord paid a dollar. Bose stuff always sells. Bose remotes are awesome to sell. This was just a power cord. Found it in a lot of a bunch of cords and cables. I just pulled this one out for a buck. Sold it for 27. Uh, Commodore uh, guides. I bought a stack of Commodore um, guides and manuals. The guy knew what he was doing. He sold on eBay, but he said there was no money left in these or not worth his time. I paid five bucks for a lot. I sold this one for twenty two fifty, and I've already sold a couple more after that. So I've already made good money. I don't know what he was talking about. Um, a ride jacket took a best offer of forty bucks for this jacket. Paid three dollars. It had some staining on it, but it's an older jacket. Um, and someone uh, really liked the color pattern they told me and they offered me 40 which I of course took and sold it I think for 10 or shipped it for 10 so I was in it for 13 I probably made 20 bucks or so on that so that's pretty awesome and I think that is it so that is so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video a little over 45 I'd like to be under that so I'll try to move it quicker um, I know it again it's taken a long time to get us to this point but I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you're learning something and I'm not wasting my time. Uh, I don't think I am. I think people have told me they like these, and I wish I could do them more timely so the information was sooner, but um, I am just seem to always be behind. Uh, again, hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions or any concerns about anything that's sold. If you sold anything cool or you got any bolos, definitely message me. Can put it in the comments. I love to hear something. I'll give you a shout-out, too, if you let me know something. I'm trying to learn, too. I'm still uh, nowhere near a professional. I'm just working on this on the side, but... I want to help the people because I've been helped, and I hope you guys can be helped as well. Hope you have a great day. Take care.